Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with terrible, terrible news. Unfortunately, as you, uh, some of you may already know, my Soviet game I was playing in the Onslaught mod continually crashes on a specific turn, thus I am unable to play it anymore. I apologize and I wish it wasn't so because I was very much enjoying it as I imagine you guys all were as well. So, that brings me to my next point. I decided to go ahead and keep doing Making History because, again, I love this game. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and this time, we're playing as uh, in the World War I mod, the Deadlock mod, for those who may be familiar. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting, to say the least. Uh, we're playing as Yan China which is, now that I'm realizing, is the weakest one of the bunch. And I don't know how in God's name I'm going to be able to do it. But you know what? I've never backed down from a video game related challenge. And as such, I'll give it a shot. Even if it's not very well. Oh look, the war's about to start. Russia declared war, Germany declared war, Germany, yep. Commonwealth, Germany, blah, 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 Central Powers, France and Russia, Entente, Romania, Entente, Montenegro, the Allied Powers, Forge with the Commonwealth for the Greater Allied Powers. Oh, that's another bunch of nice stuff happening. So, World War II is on. Or, excuse me, World War I. Even if, uh, even if uh, we're not involved at all with it, we'll just kind of let them fight it out over there. Does, they do look a little outnumbered, don't they? Mm, yes, yes they do. Poor guys. Good luck to them. Central powers. I don't know how well they're gonna do. But we should be more concerned with us. Yan China. In this case we are not in the best of positions. No indeed we are not. A lack of arms. You know, maybe we should actually join the Entente and or the Central Powers. Let's see how big this army is, because then we could take over Shandong. Which we could then use for our empire. Do we even have enough men to do that? I don't think so. No, they've got more men than us. Damn! Ruining my plans before they come to fruition, of course. Well, that's actually a pretty good idea, though. In the long term, if we can get a few more units out uh, to actually be deployed in this case, we actually would have a decent-sized military force. Jesus. People to join in alliances like crazy over there. Hell's China. I didn't even know China was a choice. I would have just picked China. Because look at them. They're way bigger than us. But that's okay. We'll rectify that mistake here soon enough. And we will be on similar scale. We just got to keep ending our turns. This is basically what happens when you play with smaller countries and making history. It turns into intern clicking fests. Because there's really not much else you can do. You maximize a few things here there. The reason I like to play as Russia, because Russia is probably the most tedious in this game to play as. Because of their massive country, obviously. And uh, there's just there's so much interning going on. Like with these with smaller countries. And everybody else is pretty easy to play as for the most part. Like even uh, the United the United States is a fucking breeze, and there's there's no doubt about that. They are so easy to play as, it hurts. Hurts my soul. But, uh, China, China's a more interesting individual. Especially a unified China. This is a singular, uh, province, region, area, district, whatever you'd like to call it, of China. So, there's really not much I can do aside from hoping that I can bring down Shandong and add that to my, my conquered provinces. Which is pretty much going to happen very soon. Um, I wish I had just a few more soldiers, though, so that I would be able to actually take them. Oh, did they just bring in reinforcements? No, they're splitting. <gasps> Perfect. That must mean that some of their men are going to be deployed to some other area of the world. That's perfect for us, because then that means that we don't have to fight anyone at all. Yes, 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 yes. Well, we'll still have to fight someone, but it'll be a smaller force. Ah, oh, damn, they recombined. Well, they just dashed my hopes. <laughs> of course, of course. And look at our, but look at our industrialization. We, uh, we're doing really good with that. Well, somewhat. I need to worry about being able to buy materials, though. Because metals are quickly disappearing. 
oils are disappearing as well. Let's go ahead and get some of those. We'll we'll get about seven of them from Italy. So then you see we're all in the green except for our goods and our arms. What's currently happening with that is we're taking massive supply hits uh, to our overall production because of the lack of it. And then with arms, we're taking a major uh, penalty to arms. Uh, oh, look, Germany left. Invade! Well, let's see if the Allies will take us first before we do anything stupid. Of course they took us. We have joined the Allied powers. And now we're going to invade Shandong. It'll be five turns, but we'll conquer it. And the world will be none the wiser. Yes, yes. China, Yan China will rise! See, this is just, this is fun, isn't it? This is, this is exciting. This is always the best part of these games, is taking some small little country that's barely even a country and turning it into something epic. Alright. Now, the only problem is Germany is not going to have peace with us anytime soon. <laughs> So we own it, but that's that's about it. You know, we can't really do much with it. It's not going to be very useful to us this early on. However, we're still expanding our other cities uh, relatively quickly, or at least as quickly as possible. We're being out-industrialized by such countries as China, because China is much bigger, started out with more cities, and far more of a resource base. Um... Who? Well, we could because, well, no, I don't think they would do that. I'm wondering if we can declare war on, like, these guys, on Zhang China. Because if we do, then they'll be on a border with Russia. And Russia will actually fight them. Or if we could get Japan. No, of course not. Japan would never get involved. Oh, but they gave us a military alliance treaty. I'm cool with that. Okay, well, that worked out nicely for me. So, yeah, look, we're already 42 turns in. We're almost a quarter done <laughs> with this overall scenario. But do not count us out yet. There's still plenty we can do. Look, we're technically more powerful than Bulgaria. Yes, that's nice, isn't it? That's very nice, very nice. I'll accept that. I'll take that. Even though they got more IPUs than us. We've just got a larger population. Um, and it looks like France is beating the ever-loving tar out of Germany right now. That's interesting. Oh, and look, they've established a Czech, a Czechia, 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 Czechia. I don't know how to pronounce that. Let's go with Czechia. But uh, yeah, and Austro-Hungary is just kind of look. Serbia's not even dead yet. What, what's going on here? Like they just like the Germans are just letting themselves get steamrolled. I don't know. I do not know. Well, this is most certainly not how World War One went. <laughs> <laughs> it did not go this well for the Allied powers, this early on, anyway. I mean, it's still only 1915. So, yeah, it's kind of odd. Very odd. Well, let's go back and take a look at our country. Our country is currently going to hell in a handbasket. Let's make a separate piece. No, let me, okay, let me just break off from the Allied powers. Yes. Break lines. And just seed me that territory. Well, whatever. You'll see soon enough. Oh, wow. Look, they took Berlin. Good. Goodness. Well, I don't know what to say. I think Germany's lost the war. <laughs> they basically all they own are their African territories. Well, they're doing okay in Africa. Look, they're just, they're just beating tail in Africa. Too bad they're completely used losing in Europe. Hmm. Tis a shame. Tis a serious shame. Not that I care too much. Well, let's just go ahead and focus on our infrastructure. See, this game isn't as fast-paced, uh, say, as Superpower is playing with a smaller country. You can really get more done as a smaller country. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This game is really a lot more uh, exciting if you're playing the big guys. You know, like, uh, again, Russia, Germany, France, any of them. You know, because they're clearly geared for major, massive wars. These wars turn into more smaller proximity um, wars. Then again, I will say, 
the smaller countries have far more of a what's the word I'm looking for tactical the fighting is far more tactical because you have limited troops you can't just dish out more uh, to be able to hold back a massive tide of whatever you're fighting um, whereas the big countries obviously they don't have that concern Speaking of which, by the way, we are just looking great as far as industrial output goes. Considering we've only got three provinces, we've got 38 in all. It's beautiful. I might as well just start. Yeah, whatever. I'll rejoin you guys. It's not going to hurt anything, I guess. 63 turns, and I'm just going to start industrializing this city now. It's going to take forever to industrialize it anyway. Might as well just get pumping as best I can. Ooh, we're at 42. I just want to pass. I just want to pass China. Look at Ma China, gi giant area, only four IPUs. Hmm. Even look, Feng China, four IPUs. Zhang China, four, eleven IPUs. And what about this Guangxi click, two IPUs? Huh. So pretty much, we had the capability to defeat all the other Chinas, industrially speaking, um, except for main the main administrative China there. But, and it looks like World War One is over. Austro-Hungary is doing fine, surprisingly enough. Oh, never mind. There we go. He just had a big chunk got taken out. Now this is Slovakia. Hmm. I can't believe France is whipping so much tail. Like, I mean, they are, they are just steamrolling Germany right now. I guess the world is going to be a little bit different then, huh? France is going to be the major power again. And, uh, yeah, Yan China is going to be a definitive player in politics here soon enough. That's right. Mm. All right, well, so we have done 75 turns so far. I think this is a good place to uh, end this particular video. Don't worry, guys. It's going to get a little bit more exciting, especially next time. I'm thinking of just going full out and conquering Zhang China uh, once I've kind of rebuilt my... Uh, country essentially because like I've been focusing so much on industrial production that my army is completely below shortage it has no supplies so they're pretty much fighting with their fists and uh, my goods are suffering too like I've only got a two percent supply so yeah it's gonna get better it's gonna get far more interesting and uh, I hope you guys keep watching and I hope we can turn this into something as exciting and awesome as playing as um, you know, playing as the Soviet Union was in our last little onslaught mod. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's been Commissar Bro. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Do all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.